disciplined time management. 99% of our efficiency when it comes to time management is an act of will. Here's an eight-point process to help you be more disciplined in the area of your own personal time management. Step number one, make sure that you've written down your key personal objectives for a time frame going forward. Whether you describe these as key performance indicators, personal tasks, personal objectives, be very clear on them, have them to hand, constantly review them, and ask yourself the question, am I motivated by these? Are there real benefits in it for me to deliver on these? And constantly remind yourself and re-motivate yourself around your personal objectives. Step number two, tackle on a daily basis unpleasant tasks first. Very often they're not as unpleasant or as difficult as you imagine, and by getting those out of the way first, you can then move on to the much more rewarding things which you'll find more motivating. Step number three, say no to the requests of others when they're not important to you and they're not urgent and learn to be assertive. In other words, don't let others steal your time. Step number four, have meetings with yourself. Plan meetings in your diary where you are alone in your own room and put a real red line around that meeting time so that you're uninterrupted and you can use it for thinking and planning of both the very important items on your agenda but also perhaps less important so that you're working on the business and not working in the business in this time. Step number five, keep a time log. Keep a record of how you spend your time. Frequently analyze this and think back to your key objectives. Perhaps list down your five major objectives and put a percentage weighting of importance to each one. Then analyze your time log and perhaps look at the five key activities you're spending most of your time on and put a percentage of time alongside each activity. Then compare your key activities and the time you spend on them to your personal objectives and their weighting of importance. Do your activities align with your objectives? Are you spending the right time on the right things to achieve for personal success? Step number six, avoid procrastination. Do it now. Step number seven, do one thing at a time. Try and have one item on your desk in front of you at any one time and not be interrupted by others. Avoid multitasking, keep a clear head and tackle one issue at a time. Use a daily to-do list to make sure that you prioritize your activities in the working day and tackle them one after the other, putting a red line through them once you've achieved them. That gives you a sense of success. And finally, step eight, be on time yourself. Don't waste the time of other people. Gain a reputation for being disciplined in your own time management and respectful of other people's time management.